Well, hello, hello, hello. My name is Bradford Hammond, and I don't have an accent. If this is your first time to the channel, thank you so much for joining us. If you don't know anything about me, I'm a recycle artist. The medium that we're gonna be using today is a palm frond. This, that rounded area, is what goes around the tree. This part that juts out holds the leaves. Now you're ready. Let's go out to the studio and have some fun. Bradford forgot to add the most important person here besides you, and that is Rob Boss, and you get that straight, people. Now we can get out to the studio. This ornament I made in my recent Christmas tree video, and it's what inspired me to do do this piece. From this, we're gonna make the cutest little elephant. Let's go ahead and sand this. So normally I would prime this frond first before I do any of the sketching, but I have plans to do something a little different that I'm pretty excited about. So let's try that first. So now obviously I'm using hand snips to get these really brittle, even rotted areas in the palm frond cut rather than use a saw. After I get this, I put it in the vise and I use the coping saw. So this is the reason that I didn't prime this piece, because I'm using a torch in order to add the darker areas to this elephant. And I thought it would be a very natural way to create this piece, but I'm trying to figure out all these ways to put wrinkles in the trunk, so I decided to use my Dremel to do that. Mistake number one. So then I had to fill those voids. And when I filled those voids, that eliminated me from being able to use the torch anymore, so I decided to lay paint. Then I'm like, hey, I have all my hydro dipping stuff, let's hydro dip it. Stalling. So I decided to sit down and try to focus on this piece. And I realized I'm being pretty sloppy about it. And I'm not happy with the lack of focus that I have, so I need to put my attention on something else. So I decided to step back and focus on the tusks. And I wanted to add a little detail to the tusks, like the elephant had, was old, had gotten in a fight, or maybe just broke it off in a poacher's ass. So at this point, I was happy with the detail. It wasn't anything excessive. And then I sat down and just started getting obsessive and completely took a change, so I had to try to change that. I'm still just not happy with this. So I add another coat of raw sienna. Again, I decided to step back and make a plaque for the back of this elephant. Just to add another element to the elephant. This is tongue oil. I'm recycling this old project board to use as the backing for the bamboo. Now all I need to do is cut it and I've got a new tool. And I must say, this thing is sexy. Using tape on the cut line reduces splinters. Even though the elephant would be in front of these screws, I still wanted to hide them somewhat. So what I did is I used sawdust and super glue to fill the holes worked really well. Here on the back, I added a way to hang it on the wall and these little dowels should away from the wall. This elephant is well hung. Check it out. 